and take your time, huh? Um, action discussion, 8.3, approve 2020-21 final budget. The superintendent recommends an ISO move to adopt and approve the general fund budget of the Chartiers Valley School District in the amount of $68,063,541 for the fiscal year beginning the first day of July 2020 with the necessary revenue for the same period of the fiscal year beginning July 1st, 2020, provided by the Earned Income Tax Resolution, a deed transfer tax resolution, a realty transfer tax resolution, and an occupation privilege tax resolution adopted May 25th, 2004, and a realty transfer tax resolution dated January 9th, 2007 and by the school tax in real estate, which is hereby levied and assessed at a rate of 18.2118 mills, or at the rate of $1.82 of each $100 of assessed valuation of taxable property, and to adopt and approve the Chartiers Valley School District Budget Resolution dated June 16, 2020. <coughs> All taxpayers required to pay tax on real estate imposed by the school district shall be entitled to a 2% discount within two months after the date of tax notice. Shall be charged penalty of 10% if paid more than four months from the date of notice and all delinquent real estate taxes shall be charged 10% interest unless taxpayers elect to pay such taxes in installments. The board secretary is hereby directed to append a copy of the budget to the minutes and to give notice to the Department of Community and Economic Development of the Act 511 taxes as required by law. Budget is attached, resolution is attached. May I have a motion for item 8.3? And may I have a second? Any discussion on this item? To not allow tax increases that we pass that? Like not necessarily. Yeah, for there, there actually is a bill in the house. Uh, that still is alive. Right. That's what I thought. Uh, that could prohibit increases in taxes. Sure. So that's not going to go anywhere, though. Are you running a shadow budget? Or no. Do you have you know, an alternate budget in the event? Oh. Yeah, it just exists. You know, it's there. I mean, it look good. I mean, it just exists. You know, it's. Um, we have. I mean, we have ideas of how we would move forward, um, and we would put that together, and the state would have to give us time to submit that. Um, I'm not sure exactly what that would look like in the sense of a board meeting since we don't have one right. prior to then. I would think that guidance would come along with the somewhat chaos that would come along with that. We have a lot of good groups advocating on our behalf at that level, explaining to them this is late for a decision um, and that this would complicate things. A lot of the tax collectors are already loading their software in order to put bills out to that one. So at this point, like Johanna said, I mean, I hope we're past it, um, but it's still out there and it's still floating. So we kind of have to hang on and see what happens, but I would think it would be really hard to pull off at this point. Sounds good. Thank you. All right. Any other discussion on this item? Yeah, I would like, um, with so much is going on out there, you know, personally, I just can't support it at this time. There's too many uncertainties and people out of work, the jobs, their, their, their business haven't been restarted. And I don't know, maybe we should even froze everything this year. But right now, I just, I can't go along with the increase, so. That's my feeling. All right, thank you for that, Jeffrey. Um, so on favor? No, yeah. 
It's easier. So all in favor? Aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? No. So let the record reflect, Mr. Toro. No. Um, motion passes.